Good evening viewers and welcome back to another episode of my what the fuck is going on. I think uh, there are some problems with Nintendo's network or whatever sort of network this runs on. Tonight for some reason that's the second time I've been disconnected randomly. My internet is fine, my computer is still connected so don't quite know what's causing it. I'm guessing it's on their end. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon X Wonderlock. I hope you're all enjoying today and hope you're having a good day. I'm good, okay. So wait for this to finish connecting to the internet, and then we shall uh, get on with the episode, I guess. So, I'm having a pretty good day today. Uh, very pleased with the response from last night's LP, next LP update video. Thank you to everyone who voted for that. Uh, there's, yeah, the voting's probably stopped, or I've probably stopped counting the votes by now. Um, because I was gonna, you know, sort of, st oh, I don't, you know, I wanna know what I'm recording like, as soon as possible. No, no, I want to know what I have to sort of do so I can get a layout done, get a thumbnail done, etc. Get a rule video done if it's necessary, etc. Stuff like that, you know. So I need to know that as soon as possible. And uh, oh, someone's birthday. Congrats, Alex. Um, I need to know as soon as possible so I can get layouts done and stuff like that. So it's very easy for me, so I'm not rushing around at the last second. So I just decided that you know I'd let a day for votes to go in because that's when the majority of my views come in, and obviously the majority of votes. So yeah, if you haven't uh, voted on that, unfortunately you've probably run out of time. But yeah, as you can see, I've trained everyone to level 60 here. I've also given out some items. Aegis Lash is holding a, holding a shadow tag. A Roman is holding the pixie plate. These two are just holding the mega stones. Crowbat isn't holding anything because of acrobatics, and Leafeon is holding a quick powder because I couldn't I didn't know any uh, grass type boosting moves. Um, Unfortunately, I don't know. We can probably get for a bit of Victory Road without a surfer, but we'll have to see how far we can get. So we'll just stick with these eight. So I don't need to turn the experience share off because obviously I was training. That's why I got everyone to level 60. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So today was my last day of sixth form for this year, actually. Um, quite sad. My final sort of Christmas week at sixth form since I will be leaving in September of next year. Not September, May actually. May, June time. We have all eight, and we shall battle. Okay, um, but yeah, I'll be leaving next year, so it's sort of my last Christmas at a school. Obviously, next year I'll be at university. It's not particularly a school though, so it's not going to be as sort of yeah as welcoming, I guess. So, Age of Slash, I have nice sort of a mini setup, mini uh, mini uh, not setup schedule ability uh, strategy. That's it. Head off with a sword dance. And obviously, we stay in uh, defense mode then, which means we, you know. Take all the attacks pretty well. Stealth Rock. Oh, interesting. I'm going to go with... What do we go with? We can give her a Sacred Sword. Let's give her another Sword Stance, actually. Power ourselves up and sweep this guy's team. Um, but, yeah. Uh, fairly easy day. There are two lessons of... Oh, Moonblast. Lovely. We're very effective, though. Oh, yeah. That's a critical hit, too. <laughs> um, yeah, two hours of physics, which we did. Monopoly. We just played Monopoly. Um, which is quite fun. <laughs> um, Monopoly had YouTube on, playing random videos, sort of like music stuff. Uh, Christmas songs, obviously, because you got to play Christmas songs uh, at Christmas. Um, and what else did we do? Hmm, can't remember. remember. Uh, we had Twister as well, normally we play Twister there. Because who wants to play Twister at school? <laughs> um, what else did we do? Yeah, we had that and then we had the quiz. It's like quiz of the year. What am I doing? I'm going to sweep this guy, aren't I? Uh, we had a quiz of the year, it was called. Uh, basically, like, both years that are at the sixth form go in the hall. And basically, there's a huge quiz. Um, <laughs> that's all I can really say. Damn it, we're not in defense form anymore. And, yep, Iron Head has sweeped two critical hits, and we're paralyzed. So, unfortunately, there's a sweep. <laughs> because Aegis Lash is pretty slow as well, so. It needs to be choice scarfed, really. Which doesn't help because of the sword stand. Yeah, I don't know. I'm terrible at making strategies, guys, so. Passerby Leon wants to trade with me. I don't know why, though. Um. Yeah, it's a leafy on, why not? Uh, but yeah, quiz was pretty cool. Uh, both years in a hall. Uh, now it's what? I go for the rounds. Round one was sport. Round two was. What was round two? Can't quite remember. Round two was. Um, let me think. Now it was a. Um, what was it? Uh, round two was news. So news from the air. Ouch, ice beam. Take it, leafy on. Take it like a boss. Oh, yeah. And you're frozen. Damn. Uh, okay, let's switch out then to... Let's go to Gengar. 
round two was news, round three was entertainment, round four was the li yeah, lyric round, which is like when one of the teachers with a strange accent reads out lyrics from a song. And that, I did terrible in that round, didn't get any of them because they, they weren't even popular songs, you know, you'd assume you get like, um, you know, what does, oh, he actually, he actually, he's actually frozen, that's pretty cool actually. I found that. It's cool. It's cool, guys, yeah? Deal with it. And we're gonna Mega Evolve, and we're gonna freeze. Are we gonna freeze Mega Evolve? No, we're not. We're just gonna sort of... Now we're frozen. <laughs> frozen solid. Damn it, Dragon Pulse is gonna come out. And... Let's use a four-story, yes. Uh, but yeah, some... Didn't get any of those. We just, you, you assume you get popular songs, like maybe Gentleman from Psy. Um, not popular, but like viral songs, uh, and then like, what does the fox say? You, you know, you think that would be a definite, but no, apparently not. Um, they were just complete ones never heard of before, so screw that round. Um, and what did I? And what's the next round? Round after that was famous paintings, which we did surprisingly well in. I think we thought we were going to do a terrible on that one, but we knew most of the paintings. So, and then round six was um, oh, that was the uh, the proverbs round. Like sayings, we have like um, too many cooks spoil the broth, etc. And then round number seven was name the Pokemon, which <laughs> I saw. I saw that round come up, and I was like, yes. And then she turned to my team, and I went, don't worry, guys, I got this. And then that was just yeah, that was it, and we owned that round full marks. Unfortunately, they only um, put in Pokemon from Generation One, so they went in like Generation Two or further Pokemon in. So it's like um. If I can remember the Pokemon, Pokemon number one was uh, Jigglypuff, then it was Victreebell, then it was Vulpix, I think, then it was, damn it, Ivysaur, and I think the last one was, oh, damn, I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, there's Tentacruel, and one more, which I can't remember. Oh well, you, you guys get the gist there. Just generation one Pokemon, so unfortunately most of the people there knew it already because we're kind of on the cusp of that generation that played it. So yeah, the majority of people knew at least some of them. Uh, and what? Oh yeah, no, I was there. And I really wish there was a bonus round, like name as many Pokemon as you can, because I'd be like, okay, guys, just settle down now. We got Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Charm, and Charmini, and Charizard. This isn't a rap, guys. I'm just saying them all. Squirtle, Woods, Tool, Blastoise, Caterpie, Metapod, Butterfree, Weedle, Kakuna, uh, Beedro, uh, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. Uh, oh, damn, it's a Weavile. Run away! Run away! Let's get a Blaziken. Um, what comes after Pidgeotto? Sandshrew, is it? I think it's Sandshrew. Or is it Nidorans? We got Sandshrew, Sandslash, Nidoran male, Nidoran female. Need a Reno, need a Reno, need a King, need a Queen. Wow, we're being frozen so much today. Fortunately, Blaziken can use a Blaze Blaze Kick and own the Weavile and defrost itself at the same time. But yeah, uh, if only there was, you know, gonna. What? Wait, what? What? Oh, so if someone uses a fire move on you, not if you use a fire move yourself. I always forget about that. Anyway, another Mega Evolution Freeze. Go! Frozen! Frozen in time! We're absolutely. There we are. We fought out. Goodbye, goodbye, Weavile. Whew, we're not doing very well today, guys. <laughs> and this is after training as well. We just struggled even more if I hadn't trained to level 60. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, and then round number eight was like it has a picture of a pig, and each like different sections had numbers on them, and you had to like say which part was which. Like you had bacon, head, trotter, etc. You had to like match the parts to the number on the diagram, and yeah. Now we need water, so we need to go back and get oh Pokemon, wild Pokemon, awesome, which means we can catch him, Graveler. But yeah, that was a quiz, and then I came home and sort of relaxed for a bit, counted up those um, votes. Uh, I'm gonna obviously still got a couple of hours left before the one day sort of limit break between the video and the, the counting, so obviously it's still sort of mid count, but. I don't know. I, I don't really want to tell you guys what it is. You'll probably find out soon enough. If if you follow me on Twitter, you will find out probably before everyone else on YouTube finds out because you'll just see like when you post a layout or something like that. Um, so yeah, go and follow me on Twitter. There'll be a link in the description. Please go and follow me on Twitter, guys. Um, I love chatting to you guys there. And it kind of, I don't know. It kind of makes me sort of disappointed. I see like people that have sort of 
about well, smaller than me, and they have more followers on Twitter. Um, so it makes me sad that I'm not sort of that close to you guys as much. I mean, I'm, I'm, I guess the majority of my uh, followers, let's people that watch this, are uh, following me on Twitter anyway. Obviously, if you don't have a Twitter account, that's you know not your fault. So don't blame yourself there. We shall call you Wonder Boulder. Yeah. Oh, Wonder Bold. That'll do. <laughs> Can't fit Boulder in there. I'm gonna transfer to a live, that's always good. And yep, we shall now wonder trade you away. And I guess we'll uh We'll then head back and get our froggy. Oh it's actually a, a frog in there now, because it evolved when I was training. Yes, Wonderbold, go. Good thing you didn't use explosion and when I was battling it, because one that might have taken out Aromatis, and two we would have lost the Pokemon, so. But yeah. Follow me on Twitter, guys, and you'll get notice of my Let's Play, or what my next Let's Play is. Uh, I'll tell you now the... Uh, I can tell... Uh, I, yeah, no. I don't want to tell you what they are. But there are three very clear competitors for the game. Um, and two are really just, you know, two ahead. Raphael from Andalusia in Spain, I think. One is ahead at the moment by... Dun, dun, dun. Wait, da, 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 da. I've got a cat in there. Oh, I'm getting confused. I don't know what Pokemon it is, so. Gasly! One of them is ahead by two points, and the other, yeah. So one of them is ahead by two points, and the other one's sort of back a bit, like 10, 15 points, so back. So it's probably just the head out between those two now. I'm not going to tell you what they are. If you follow me on Twitter, you might be able to see it already from my previous tweets. And then the challenge is actually really quite close between three of them. Um, yeah, it's really going to be it. Sort of, they keep like, overtaking each other as they go through the votes. So hopefully we get a clear, clear winner, a clear winner in the end. But we have to see. If not, if it's like, you know, if they keep swapping over and stuff like that, I will probably just make a judge myself and say, okay, I'm going to do this because, you know, no one else is doing it at the moment or something. You know, something similar to that. I don't know. I'll have to see. And someone actually did mention in the comments of my uh, that video that I haven't actually finished my Pokemon... Well, it was a sacred goal. When I did my Team Magma challenge, I was decided I was going to do Team Magma and another Let's Play at the same time. Because I sort of sort of wanted to, I guess. Um, yeah, I sort of going to like post one of them every day and then you get an episode of the other one every couple of days, etc. But then there were some issues with that other Let's Play. And then... Um, yeah, issues with Let's Play, and then um, so I, and then I sort of yeah issues, and then I lost I think because it was a lock. Uh, so I thought okay, let's try, start again on the basic version again because I was playing a hacked version, like a sort of a harder version. Um, so I played that, and then uh, and then like that game fucked up all over. So I decided I was gonna just like put it off until another time. Okay, so Gengar's the one that's got the, the, like, the least until the next level, so what's Ghastly doing? Nothing. Just the basic Ghastly level 1. So there's our Frogadier. We shall retrieve it, and that shall be useful, because we need to get across water. And we no longer have any water types, because our Greninja died, so sad face everyone, but yeah, that's how life goes. But yeah, um, that person, they did remind me that I did promise the people that I would finish off eventually, like after X and Y, I would then sort of go back to it and do it again. I don't want to battle you now. If I had the, uh, if I had my uh, Gengar on me still, I might battle you, but no. We have not got a Gengar anymore. But yeah, someone did mention that I need to do it, so I might, depending, or obviously, like what the type of the Let's Play is and the thing, if it's, if it's close, if it's in the top two or three, I might choose that over the other two just because I need to finish it. So, I shall have to see. Anyway, there we are, finally surfing. Go. Boom. Hello, Ace Trainer. Steelix, great, against the Romatisse. So we're going to be switching out. Indeed. Steelix is coming out first. Hello, Steelix. How are you doing today? <sighs> yep, uh, Cerebi uh, on the topic of Pokemon Origins. Cerebi updated their shiny or added some more shiny Pokemon to the database earlier. Uh, still no Bulbasaur though, so I can't do anything. Although I think I might just go ahead and recolor the basic sprite using, you know, a terrible, you know, 
fill things. So we also don't sky up on Blaziken, so that's always a good move for us to know because it's stronger than double kick, obviously. And I think it can hit Pokemon that uh, are using fly, I'm not sure though. Go, Sky Uppercut! Yeah! Oh, almost. Earthquake, oh no! Run away, Blaziken, run away! Except you can't run. Speed boost, so we're definitely faster than that, so that's always a good thing. I think Sky Uppercut has a better accuracy than Blaze Kick, so I'm going to stick with that. Blaze Kick has an accuracy of 90 or 95, I'm not quite sure. And Sky Uppercut, I think it's 100, so that's why I'm going to carry on using Sky Uppercut, obviously. Okay, speed boost again, but we're probably going to switch you out, Blaziken, because you've taken damage. Kanga's gone! Oh, damn it. I should really stay in for this, shouldn't I? Okay. It's obviously not going to Mega Evolve, but I think I should really restore my health points nonetheless. Because otherwise I could lose Blaziken, and I don't want to do that, because Blaziken's a pretty strong member of my team when it gets going. Which is... <laughs> Not not all that often, but ow, I hit my head, I hit my head, blah, 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 I hit my knee, I hit my head, I can't speak sometimes. My words get trapped, I think it's my words, try, I try to get the words out of the mouth, out of my mouth too quickly. You can tell guys, I speak really quite quickly. Um, yeah, I should really work on that. Anyway, level 61 for Blaziken, awesome. And speed boost yet again. What's up next? Electrode. We haven't really got any ground type moves, have we? So, I'm gonna get to Leafeon here. Because, you know, Leafeon's a beast. Should be able to deal some decent damage there with a Leaf Blade. And it resists Electric as well, which is good. But I have a feeling Electrode is not gonna use an Electric type move. Yep, let's use Leaf Blade. Screech, lowering my special defense. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see how much damage Leaf Blade does. Oh, pretty damn decent, actually. Pretty damn decent. Thunder, we avoided the attack. Yes, Leafeon! Good thing, because we might take... Well, no, we resist it, so it wouldn't have died, I don't think. Might go on half damage, who knows, especially with a Screech. But, yeah, who knows, who knows. We shall never know, guys. Unless, of course, I turn the 3DS off now, go back into the last save point, and attempt again to... No, oh, that's just go going around this guy here. Completely stupid point. Oh, oh, oh. No, go away. Damn it, wild Pokemon, and then we get caught by him afterwards, aren't we? I just wanted to move around who was in the front of my, my party. Because it's a Romatisse, and I think she's taking damage? No, she's not. Okay, it's fine. Let's own this uh, Drudigan while we're here, though. See, we're almost... The uh, Drudigan, the wild Pokemon, is almost the same level as us. I need to train some more. There we are. Move last. Should one hit kill it, because it's only a wild Pokemon, and of course, it's super effective. So, goodbye, Drudigan. And our Remedy should be able to handle itself in this battle here because, you know, it can own fighting types. Bear Freet. Bear Freet. Yes. I've been running around in my Bear Freet. Black about Marcus sent out Machomp. Machomp. Four arms. Almost. almost what, I meant to say awesome or half the time I don't know what I'm meant to say. Oh dear. No. Not a Remedy. Uh, critical hit. Damn it. Oh well, <laughs> oh well again. It's my catchphrase for losing Pokemon. Oh well, another time. <laughs> now, okay, who are we going to we gonna place the Roman Tees with? Jesus. I don't quite know. So hopefully use Acrobatics and take it out in one hit thanks to the high power. Oh, come on. Stone Edge! No, not Crabbit! Okay, cool. Uh, use Poison Fang, should be faster. Yes, indeed we are. And goodbye, Machamp. Damn, do I really need to train that much more? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Black Belt Marcus. We're taking a fair bit of damage from each Pokemon battle we have, and we just lost the Pokemon, which is like, ugh. Not a Romatisse has been on our team for so long. Okay, put Leafy on in front. Let's do this. Just after I said a Romatisse should be okay in the next battle. Shouldn't tempt fate. I should know that by now. You shouldn't tempt fate. At all. What Pokemon could this be? Graveler against Leafeon. Leafeon should be able to take it out, but we're not going to because it's, you know, it's only a wild Pokemon. Hopefully we're faster than it. Yes, we are. Good go good game, Leafeon. Good, good game. And, oh, she's not quite looking at us. Duskball. Awesome. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. There we are. <laughs> right, let's see what this fighting type user does to us, eh? <laughs> Please don't kill me. Oh shit. 
Oh, Lucha, no. Oh, Lucha. Who do we do here? Who do we do? Uh, let's go out to Aegis Ash. Who will resist fighting type moves? And is immune to fighting type moves. At least now we don't have to worry about which Pokemon we're going to switch out because of our, um, our lovely friend. Haha, -ha, kept going and crashed, Tolucha. Which means, I don't know. I haven't really got any moves against it. I'm going to use a sword to dance. Acrobatics, not going to do a whole lot of damage. And use sword to dance, and then probably go for a shadow sneak. Uh, yeah, at least we don't have to worry about who we're going to store in the PC now when we've got our Frogadier on our team. At least not until we get a new Pokemon member, team member, etc. I just don't know who to replace it with now. I don't know who is in my PC. Yes, we got that whole lucha. Who's coming up next? Leafy on Greedy level 61. Mien Xiao, another fighting type. Um, nah, stay. We got this. We got this, guys. We got this. Let's go and stay in. Let's go for another sword stance. Okay. Bounce. Okay, that's fair enough. We can give a sword two sword stances then. Actually, no, wait, we can. We don't. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. We're slower than it, so we can attack it when it comes back down. And we'll stay in. We're in attack form, aren't we? Damn it. There's no, I haven't got any defensive moves, sort of thing. That raise defense. Okay. Uh, we shall go and use oh, it's a fighting type, so we'll just give her a shadow snow idiot me Damn at least we resist it eh? Now we can go for a shadow sneak and beat it before it jumps away Because shadow sneak is a priority move. I should have just go for something else. I don't, I don't know what I was doing And at least we got the man shadow. Oh, there's a lovely moon outside my window Not that she just uh, right outside the window like hey, what you doing? It's air, like in the sky Awesome, well we defeat the battle of Veronique. I guess we should head back to the Pokemon Center again. And see well, get Gengar out. And see what Pokemon we could possibly train up between the episodes. Ugh. There we are. Damn it. Horde battles. The scum of Pokemon X and Y. No, the floats are wow. Hopefully Leafeon's faster than them. Then again, they're only level 21, 21, 29. Sort of combine their level with Leafeon's level. 29, 61, 21, and 69. Oh, cheeky. <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't know who we could use. I have to check what Pokemon I have. I mean, we lost, what was it? Aromatisse, which is a fairy type. Um, so that's like, sort of like our dragon strength has gone. Really? We, we, we couldn't get away? It's a, I guess it's haunted, so it's a pretty fast Pokemon, to be fair. Let's keep going, move out, across the water again, once we surf, come on, Frogadier surf! Which means I have to train Pokemon from level 1 up to like level 60-ish, uh, which is, you know, it's not an easy train guys, come on. Uh, 60 levels I need to get up, which is going to take probably more than the time it takes between two episodes, like I don't, don't like spending too much time playing between episodes, got to work as well. Um, and I'm just doing other stuff too. <laughs> Procrastinating for the win. Plus, I know my other work slows down if I'm playing, so. So I tend not to play. But we'll see. We shall see. So, this is what, the third time we've come back here this episode? Not making a whole lot of progress, are we? And we've only had like two free battles today. Wait, one, two, three, four! Five! Don't worry, guys, I gotcha. Oh, Mr. Bonding is in this Pokemon Center as well. I hardly noticed him before then. Well, I didn't notice him at all. <laughs> I didn't notice. I didn't notice him. I did not notice him. Did not notice him. Please, Matthew, pronounce your words correctly. No, we're cool. What power have we got? PP restoring power level number one. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. O Power. Mr. Mr. What's his name anyway? Mr. Bonding, of course. I said it literally five seconds ago. Okay, let's get Gengar. Gengar. Gengar! Yeah! I love Gengar. He's a great Pokemon. You should all tweet Nappy right now. And be like, At the one in school, loves Gengars. At the King Nappy. Uh, da, 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 da. So, get rid of Remitis. Into the dead box. Who to? Who can see? Yeah, we get Gengar out now. But who could we use? 
Um, Zog, who apparently has a nickname, so that's pretty cool. Our only nicknamed Pokemon. Uh, we no, don't really want to use that one. We could use Solosis, um, because we lost a, well, you know, that's a nice psychic type moves now. Um, uh, no. That's not going to be any good. No. Not really. No. Not really. Uh, maybe. Rotom, another ghost type. That'd be a third ghost type on our team. Not good. Uh, Charizard, we got a flying type. Fledgling. Helioptile. Maybe Helioptile. Helioptile could work, guys, couldn't it? Maybe Helioptile. I mean, Helioptile. Oops, not ghastly. Helioptile is an option, and so is Solosis. So, and so is Pinecoat. So I guess I put these three here, and you guys can choose in the comments who I should use. So, Solosis, Helioptile, or Pineco. You should probably just think about what's going to be most helpful for the Pokemon League here, since obviously if I'm waiting for your guys' response, I won't be able to start training until... Well, I should be able to train before the next episode, because um, I've got a full day-ish tomorrow, so a full day of training should be able to be done. Um, yeah, I should be able to do that, so yeah, just let me know, guys. So, I'll probably join our team, start the next episode, maybe, with any luck, if not, like, Pokemon League time, so... Helioptal could be helpful for Pokemon League to help us with that water type user, um, fire type as well. Just trying to think, steel type not as helpful. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what Pokemon are in the Pokemon League. I've only played for it once. Uh, yeah, let's put Gengar at the front. Ha ha ha. I guess we can. Yeah, I guess we can use another Max Repel here. By name, Max Repel only have one left, I guess I can purchase some between episodes to help us get through Victory Road without any disturbances, which are quite annoying, you know. Everyone knows how annoying cave. They're not as annoying in X and Y though, I mentioned this last episode. They're really not, not as annoying. Much more annoying in previous games. So about this person, let's go outside, I guess. Hallelujah, we're outside. Hello, backpacker, you just walked straight past me. I guess this shall be our last battle of the day. Let's do this. I think he's got a dragon type. Yeah, Haxorus, I was right. I was correct in my prediction. And Gengar can use Shdazzling Gleam. This is gonna it's gonna be what it's like again. Back in my um was it yeah, Emerald Team Magma Challenge, I had a Yeah, I had a, a Crobat that was named Unlawful, I think. And also something like that. I think it was like something along those lines. And um, I ended up referring to it as Unlawfile for once, like mixing Unlawful and Exile, Unlawfile, and it just stuck and I kept using it every time I freaking um, mentioned the Pokemon's name and I couldn't stop it. But yeah. So, we had defeated Backpacker Farid. That was really not hard battle, so I guess we shall be ending the video once we head up to here. I don't think there's any more battles, just a little bit of a ruin. Yes, so guys, it's exactly where I ended the video, or one of the video or for my while play playthrough for Victory Road. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I guess I'll be seeing you next time. Please remember to vote for either Solosis, Helioptile, or Pineco for me to use in the space of my final team slot since we lost the Aromatisse. But yes, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Goodbye my friends.